Hey everybody, and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It is completely free to subscribe and a really great way to support my channel and everything that I do here on YouTube with these craft tutorials for you guys. Today, I'm going to show you guys something you asked for after I showed you how to do a word knockout in Inkscape, which was this style where you put the words and then take some space away and have other words inside of them. In this one, I'm going to show you guys how to do that with an image. And we're going to use this image of, I'm assuming it's Mufasa, it could be Simba, but we're going to go ahead and use this image here and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's super easy, you just need to follow a few steps and it is something that even a, the novice Inkscape user can do. It's great if you can work along with the video and once you do it a few times it will be just like an old trick and you will have no problem doing it. So let's go over to Inkscape so I can show you guys how to do this. You'll need to make sure that you have Inkscape to do this. So I have linked where you can get Inkscape down below. You can use this both on PC and Mac. So what we'll do first is we're going to import our Mufasa that we're going to use. So we're going to go to File, Import, and he's just a picture. So we're going to use him right here. Go ahead and click OK. And to resize anything in Inkscape, make sure that you're holding Control when you pull on the arrow. If you don't, it will like see how I can kind of move him in really funny ways and he gets kind of fat and short. You need to make sure that you do hold that in. I'm going to just undo what I just did so make sure that he is correct. Now because he does have this checkered background we're going to go ahead and convert him. So we're going to go to path. You're going to go trace bitmap and for this one all you have to do is remove smooth and stack scans and select remove background and click OK. That'll give us just the Mufasa so you can get rid of the one with the checkered background. I'm going to go ahead and make him a little bit bigger so we can see him better. Again, holding control as I move him. And you can get rid of this piece right here, that trace bitmap part. Move him over to the side. And we're going to select a text. And we are going to do remember who and you are. And I realize I spelled remember wrong, so I'm going to go back up. Remember. There we go. And to select your text, you can choose any kind that you want. You can just go right up here to the top. And it's just like in design space where you just sort of um, scroll down and find the one that you want. We're going to use the O Wonder Upright and we're going to go ahead and make this bigger. Again, same thing. Hold control, click the arrow and pull. I think this is a really, really cute font and it's super fun to work with. So we'll do that. We're going to click on the font again because I want it centered. And don't worry, we're going to move these a little bit because they look kind of weird right now with the spacing. So what you can do is right up here where you see the the a and the a that is your line spacing like it would be in design space um this is a little bit harder to work with because their line spacing is super like random and doesn't always work quite right so what we'll do is we're going to ungroup this first and when we ungroup it we can move our words around so you're going to go to first thing you're actually going to do is change it to an object. So click on path and click object to path, which is your first selection. Then what you're going to do is go to object and right down here about middle is ungroup. And now we can move our words around. So I'm going to select you are Oops. and I make sure my selector tool is chosen, which is the top arrow in the upper left hand corner. And we're just going to move this up and I'm doing that so that I can actually fit it all and it's not super spaced out. Now what you want to do is select the whole word and you want to make sure that your box covers all of the word because if it doesn't it's not going to select them. Then what you need to do is go to path and to union. Union is about the first one in that little second section. Click Union. That's going to make this all one piece and it's super easy after that. Now what we're going to do is use the linked offset. Now a lot of people when you open your Inkscape there's this little box over here and it's going to be blue. You'll see that it's got two little boxes and an arrow between them. Make sure you deselect that. That is an, a snapping tool and it's going to make your offset harder to work with because it's going to want to keep your offset with your letters. Now what you're gonna do is go to path and click, li click linked offset. Somewhere in your word, there will be this little diamond and you can pull that out. Now I changed the color on mine because it's black and it's super hard to see. 
So we're gonna go ahead and move that and change the color. Now you can see it a little bit better and you can pull it out to however wide you want it. I think that looks like a pretty decent size. So I'm gonna go back and I want to resize the whole design. So make sure you select the entire thing and we're gonna size it down. And my Inkscape gets a little bit slow right now. It's mostly my computer, there's some stuff running, but don't worry, it's totally fine. We're gonna go ahead and line this up where we want it on our design. Go ahead and click anywhere on your screen and I'm gonna go ahead and click on my words and move those off to the side because we need those out of our way. The next thing that you're gonna do is take this linked offset and I click object to path and then click break apart and that is gonna give you all those little holes that were there and then you just click on union and it gets rid of all the little holes so that when you take this away you don't have kind of those random holes. Now what you need to do is select your lion and the offset again just by drawing a box around both click path and click difference. It's gonna open up that hole and you'll have no more red. Go ahead and move your words into there and see if you like how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and click file, we'll save this. We're just gonna save it as um, a regular SVG and sometimes it works. Oh, I already had used this for something else, it's fine. We're just gonna call this uh, lion KO. I did this once and I messed something up so that's why it saved funny but now in Design Space, you're gonna click on Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and you're gonna find your item. Now mine show as Internet Explorer documents, but yours could show as um, Chrome documents, Firefox documents, or they could show as SVGs. It just depends on your computer, but this is the file that we wanna use. Now this happens sometimes where it says the uploaded SVG contain the following items that are not supported. Auto flow text, import anyways. Go ahead and import it. It's just a weird thing that Design Space does. It will have absolutely no effect on your design. So click save. Go ahead and insert your image. And you'll see that you have your lion and your words. Now you can ungroup them and change the colors, do whatever you would like to do with them and they're gonna be ready to go, good to go, and you can cut them. So I'm gonna show you guys this really big so that you guys can see this a little bit better. Do you see the words? You can see that they're all together. There's no cut lines in between them. It's really hard to see because they're thin. Let me go ahead and I'm just gonna grab these and I can always undo after I show you this, but do you see how it's all welded? That's what that union does. It gives you that nice weld just like you would use in design space. I'm gonna undo what I just did so that these aren't off cent like off the size, but there you go. Now we'll need to size it back down because I made them way too big. And we'll size it down. You can size it any size you want. And you'll see you have your lion with your cutout and then you have your words. So you're ready to go. This is a super easy way to do a knockout and it looks really, really good. And then you would just cut it and layer it like you would with any vinyl decal. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer them for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. In case you didn't know, it is completely free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything at all. And if you hit that bell icon, it will tell you when I post a new video. So it's really easy to not miss any of the awesome, fun content that we have coming. There's a lot of really great videos coming down the pipeline, and I'm super excited for you guys to see all of them. If you have any questions, again, put those in those comments down below. I try to answer your questions as quickly as possible. I hope you guys had so much fun learning how to do a knockout design with an image. I put the link for both Inkscape and for the Inkscape knockout with words down below. So you should be able to find everything you need down there. And don't forget to check out 651vinyl.com, also linked below using code GET5 to save another 5% for all of your vinyl needs. They've added alcohol inks, faux leather, and tons and tons of blanks. Um, I am an affiliate with them, so by shopping my links, you help support me and help me continue to make YouTube videos for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting.